My heart rate is up at 100 right now. That's a good sign. So 2020 has been a weird year. I'm still processing how I'm feeling about just existing right now. The world and life may be weird right now, but I can at least compensate by having fun toys. <laughs> Guys, I've got my own aerial hoop. So currently at my aerial studio, all the hoops are untaped like this because we're living in a global pandemic right now and solid metal is a lot easier to sanitize than porous tape. But that means all of the hoop things we're doing is on a slippery metal hoop. And when your hands get sweaty, you're just slipping. And especially if you're coming back to hoop after, you know, taking a little break because maybe things in the world were a little crazy for a little while. And then you find out your hands are just sliding down and you can't even like keep a good grip. It's kind of discouraging. So of course I decided the best way to solve this dilemma was to get my very own hoop and tape it myself, because if only I'm using it, it doesn't need to be sanitized, it's just me. And then I can practice hoop without feeling like I'm very weak because my grip isn't where I remember it being at. And also, I just want to start choreographing some hoop routines and having my own hoop to practice on at home would be really good for that. I'm babbling. Basically, I've got my own hoop and I want to tape it and I haven't made something in a while and I miss you guys, so... Join me to tape my hoop, I'm excited. So I got my tape from Aerial Essentials, not a sponsor. Imagine how cool it would be to be sponsored by an Aerial brand. I don't know if you can see that, there it is. Some tapes you have to like chalk after you put them on because otherwise it gets sticky or something. But you don't have to do that with this tape and I don't know how to do that. So like, good thing I got the tape, you don't need to do that for. After extensive research of like watching three YouTube videos and reading one blog, I feel like I know what I'm doing here. All right, so the blog that I read on taping your hoop says the first thing to do is put a piece of tape here, here, and here. None of the videos I watched said to do that, but I figure more tape on the hoop isn't gonna be a bad thing. So I'm gonna start with that. I got a bunch of different color tapes when I ordered my hoop. I figured, you know, nice to have backups for later. And since I don't really know what I'm doing, that might be important for fixing things. I can't tell you how excited I am to be able to grip just a little bit easier again. It was really kind of a bummer coming back and feeling like I couldn't do a lot of things I could do before, even though I still felt relatively strong from practicing on my silks. And I'm sure there's amazing folks out there who perform on a naked hoop intentionally, but like, I'm just a little baby aerialist. I'm still figuring out what I'm doing and I much prefer having tape on mine. And I've got my own now, so I can do it. So I'm going to. Oh my goodness, I am in such a weird mood today, guys. I'm also like nervous about talking to you again. I was gone for a few months again, like I do. Honestly, gathering the emotional energy to like put myself out there in front of you guys is harder than I feel like it should be. My little introverted self is just not always down for that. Unrelated, don't you just love the blue tape I picked for this? So every blog and video and the instructions on the packaging here all agree that the most important thing with taping your hoop is starting at the bottom and wrapping up, and then overlapping and wrapping up again. One of the videos explained that this is because when you're doing things on your hoop, naturally with gravity, your hands are gonna be pulling down like this. And if you wrap from the top down, you're gonna make it so that you're constantly like pulling on the seam of the tape and unraveling it, where if you wrap from the bottom up, then your hand is sliding along with it and you're not gonna end up unraveling your tape nearly as quickly. Of course, there's moves where your hands move up, but because of gravity, our hands always move down the bar more. So we tape in the way so that the seam is nice. Okay, so starting at the bottom here, we do one full wrap around. And then we start heading over. You want to overlap at a half every way around, according to everyone I've read. And just keep going. This is not gonna be the neatest job in the world because I don't 
really know what I'm doing. I've never done it before. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of creases, but I'm gonna try. Gosh darn it. I feel like I'm doing a very bad job at this, but I don't really know how to fix it. Uh, there's so many creases. I don't know how to make this consistent. Oh, uh, geez. Oh, good thing I got multiple rolls of tape. How are you supposed to do this so it doesn't crease? Maybe creasing is just the natural part of it. And then when you kind of go down, pat it down, it'll kind of even it out. I don't even remember what a properly taped hoop looks like at this point. Well, those two seem to go without any creases. Not to jinx myself. I think I jinxed myself. When I started doing it instinctually, it was going better. Maybe I'm overlapping too much? Maybe I need to be closer to the middle? Maybe editing it later, I'll see what went wrong. If anything, maybe I'm just being hypercritical. Right by the top, too. Wow, I just sound super gloomy today. I'm sorry. No, don't apologize for being gloomy. You're allowed to feel feelings. Just typically, we don't like to put those feelings on the internet because gloomy feelings are not as entertaining for people. And often we come to videos to feel the happy feelings and less so the gloomy feelings. my hoop taped but yeah what I was trying to describe earlier is you can s maybe kind of see uh, how close can I get you can maybe kind of see with the wrap now when you go down the hoop this way the bottom of the, the, the seam where you wrapped it the bottom of the seam is you know on the bottom so it's not if you go upwards that would start peeling up things I don't know if that makes sense Start from the bottom and do the other side. Once around, and then we go. This direction feels like it's going way better. Of course, as soon as I say that, I get a big crinkle, but let's see. Half, every half, overlap at the halves. Okay. I think I need to stop commenting on when I think I'm doing well, because then it starts going poorly, I feel like. Hey, Willikers, come on. I am having a hard time of this. I bet there's hockey players out there who like tape their sticks every day and they're like, you know, it's not that difficult. You just go in a circle around the thing. And I'm like, I understand that in theory, but in practice, Seems like I'm getting a lot of crinkles. Maybe it's about applying pressure all the way around. To limit the chance of it bunching when it touches. I think that might be it. Maybe just I need to apply more pressure as I'm going. I was doing so well. <laughs> uh, There's just gonna be Heather complains about not doing a perfect job her first time ever taping a hoop. Kind of feels like it is. I don't, I don't know why I'm just sitting over in the corner of the frame over here. I'm sorry. Is that better? <laughs> uh, I am in such a weird mood today. I feel like once you've gotten good at this, this could actually be like a very 
zen, relaxing sort of activity. So right now I'm just all up in my head, wondering whether I'm doing it right. metal beast is now disguised in a soft tape coat. I definitely have a lot of creases. Um, I honestly don't remember if that's normal or not. I think I did better on the second side. I'm gonna go ahead and say it could definitely be better than I did, but I mean I'm just happy I've got tape on here and I'm gonna feel super duper grippy. And I have this much tape left over. Ha ha! Be right back. Here we go. Oh, I should have daisy chained my silks before I came up here. How? <laughs> I don't have enough hands. Oh, I know. Drape. Perfect. Spin set on to carabiner. And climb back down the rickety ladder. Exciting. Mm -hmm. 